Autumn is slowly creeping closer and cherishing each moment spent in the warm summer sun, taking in each tiny detail of the flowers fruiting and spreading their seeds. Noticing how it feels to be kissed by the rays of the sun once more as we wander through the woods. Listening to water trickle by as reading our books under the blue sky has never felt so pleasant. Feeling my body slowly starting to retreat as days go by, craving more solitude and tender moments spent at home, cuddled up underneath the stars in our garden, watching as the days slowly blend into night. I've just got back from my walk and have just come out into the garden and um, noticed that all of the lavender is ready to be snipped. We've got three lavender plants that are all quite large so we're going to have a lot of lavender. All of the heads are now dead and need to be cut back so next year they grow into big beautiful blooms again. Let's begin the process. I'm in the process of learning how to make nourishing skin balms. I dream of releasing a few someday, balms created with the intention of connecting us to our bodies, to the natural world and noticing how these herbs and oils have the ability to heal us and take us to a deeper place um, in our rituals. All of the oils are sourced consciously and sustainably and the shea butter is sourced fairly with a women's cooperative in Ghana, unadulterated and pure. By growing all of the herbs at home, planting the seeds and harvesting the flowers just before they fall to the ground allows me to feel content with the holistic process of making these balms. It's an ode for our connection and likeness to nature and reminds us ever so tenderly of our deep connection to the earth, asking us to take time so we can practice being gentle and compassionate, recognising the silence that forms in these very moments, preparing us to choose something more than ourselves, an act of love. I'd recently removed some old paintings from these canvases ready to be stored away and now it was time to re-canvas them. Recently I've been having more visual and vivid dreams than I ever have before. I don't know if it's because of the endless fantasy movies that I've been watching but it seems like I'm able to see my dreams with more depth and with more detail than I ever have before. They've been making me feel so inspired by creating an imagery bank in my head of different scenes and characters that I would never have imagined before.
It's a few days later and the canvases are all dry. I've primed and sanded them three times. I'm just sketching out some ideas for this small canvas that we're going to start today. This is just the hard part now, is thinking of a concept. I try and do original concepts on all of my paintings which makes it difficult for me when trying to plan a concept because I'm not 100% sure of my style and I'm still definitely experimenting but I'm also kind of scared to experiment. It's been a while since I've really felt in the groove of painting again and I'm just really enjoying it. This feels like such a natural way for me to let my creative juices flow. The way I like to begin the process is just by thinking of like an overall topic or thing that I want to try and portray and then narrow it down to more of an individual subject matter or just like a feeling that I'm trying to portray or whatever it is and then try and navigate what imagery best um, conveys that thing through a painting. So sitting here trying to think of that original concept initially is challenging but when I get the first bit of juice for it then it all flows. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I've got one of my favourite albums playing on my headphones and I'll just sit here for however long it takes and let something flow through. When something comes to mind, you shall see it. 